Childhood Cast Iron on the morning of March 26, 2024. We're about to head for Moors. But before we do, we want to take a look here. It's a picture of my brother Sam and my mother, along with other area farm interested families. Back in 1992, this young fellow with the plaid jacket on, Bob Venn. I got to see this photo of himself from uh, about 40 years earlier. We gathered several of those farmers from that era, actually two, uh, Lyles Trombley and this young fellow, my father Carl Castine, and we talked with Gary Finney about John Deere days. Back in the early 1950s and probably starting in the late 40s, Gary Finney's father, W. W. Finney had a John Deere dealership and he would have John Deere days every year and they would uh, there would be farmers there from all through the North Country showing up and enjoying the day and uh, and I know in my particular family household uh, John Deere days was a good reason to miss school you, <laughs> you could actually go there with your with your parents and uh, take any activities and Jumping ahead to 19, well, actually back here a couple years as far as this video goes, back to 1990. Back to April 10th, 1990, and one of the first shows that Bob Ben did for Hometown Cable, and what's going on here, was a visit to Jack Dragoon's, Dragoon's Farm Equipment Open House and Customer Appreciation Day. And, it was on April 10th, and it was the anniversary of the 1953 grand opening of Floyd, Floyd Dragoon's farm equipment business. Over the years, uh, Bob Ben and I, then later Gordy Little and I, and my brother Sam and I, and a whole other, a lot of my people, maybe I think they even brought Joey Trombley to one of these uh, open houses over the years. So we've tried to cover them, and uh, a year ago, the Dragoon family sold the business, but the Customer Appreciation Day will remain in Moors. And of course, there's nowhere near the number of farmers there were back when Floyd Dragoon started this business uh, back in 1953. But uh, the tradition continues, and we're going to step out of our car and step into the mowers in the year 2024. This is the Dragoons location that we're all familiar with across from the fire station here in beautiful downtown mowers and this is where the customer appreciation day was held for almost all the years that they've held it but they've moved it down the road now because it was really a lot of work to <laughs> they lose at least a week's work clearing up and getting ready prepared for the customer appreciation day utilizing their workspaces so they have moved it and that's where we're going to be heading uh, last year's was at this location and that's where this year's is also but one thing we'll point out as we're making our way there is that uh, in order to survive the with so few actual farmers in business these days, they've had to, of course, expand. And many decades ago, they got into the lawn and garden equipment. And that is by far, I am sure, the, the biggest portion of their business. But still, Farm equipment, as you can see, is still very much a part of what they have to offer. This is a Tuesday. We had a good snowstorm on Saturday, but that snow is melting away. And we'll go inside and see who we can chat with. We have made our way inside, and as always, there are 
There's equipment uh, visible here. And salesmen from uh, various companies are always uh, set up to answer questions from anybody who might have interest. Looks like there's a bounce house. Over that away. And of course, the table set up for the food. That's what uh, <laughs> draws people here. Seeing the, the new and latest equipment is always interesting, but uh, chatting with the, the Dragoons folks is always interesting, but the, the food is what the draw is. When I first met uh, this gentleman here, he worked, uh, I don't know if you were working for Agway or GLF. I worked for GLF, I worked for Agway 38 years, and then I put up with Jack for 13. <laughs> They're still bringing you back to help oh, out. Oh yes, and enjoy it. I miss the people. <laughs> what year did GLF become Agway? Do you recall Jim, Jim Robbins? 87. 87, so when I first met you, it was, it was GLF then. Yep. I'll always be GLF. <laughs> Range, you know what it stands for. Grange, Grange League Federation. You got it. Most people don't know that, Calvin. <laughs> well, a good turnout here in the early Yes. And this is just starting, but the weather's good. We aren't going to have any more winter. No, winter's done as of Saturday. That's true. <laughs> so what are you giving away here? You spin and you win here, huh? Yep. What your arrow lands on, you win. Is a winner every time, or what? I can't. Almost. I can't say that. You can't say that. <laughs> what do you have to do? You well, spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. <laughs> it really depends on who you are. <laughs> but don't put that on. Okay, no, no, no. That won't be on there. No. That's a kid. Sign up. There's other prizes here, so you spin and you win. So look at that. She won a, a that called a koozie. What is that? A koozie. A koozie. For, yeah. beer. for beer. No, no. You can put your Mountain Dew in there too. Oh, Mountain Dew. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Right, so we have a winner, just like that. I always have a winner. <laughs> One of the draws here is the good-looking help they get to, to serve the food, I've heard. Oh, yeah. Well, we, you never know who's going to show up. There's Bill Bosley. Uh-oh. That's Bill's the, always trouble, you know. Richest man in Rouse's Point. <laughs> but no, you're seeing the help. It's, it's all volunteer. I mean, <laughs> even myself volunteering now, my wife and my brother. And yeah, I thought, it'd be, I thought it'd be safe and not have to see you guys, but here you are. <laughs> Wayne Dragoon. Uh, so... Yeah. You're here helping out? Yeah, the new owners asked us to give them a hand. And yeah, well, it's a good we said yes, so. transition time. You know, right, exactly. It's still, as you can see the wall, it says up to 71 years now. So <laughs> they're still keeping her going, which we hope they, for hope many, many, many more years many, for many, sure. Yeah, that's darn right. You know, this is no, glad well, you can make it, Calvin. A large part of the, of the uh, stuff going on here. I see the, you got your father cooking over yeah, there. Right. Oh my yeah. gosh. It's going to be 87 Saturday. And <laughs> Still going at it, which is very fortunate. It'd probably be uh, tougher on him to stay home and miss no. this than it is for him uh, to be on his feet here cooking. He's been looking forward to this for quite <laughs> some time, you know. The house can get lonely and you know, seeing a lot of people he hasn't met in a while. And no, for sure. Uh, just starting in, it's a pretty good crowd so far, so which, so is, far, which yeah. is good. Yeah. Well, I think. Uh, I imagine there's a few people that walk into the, the store looking for the food. Oh, I know it, it's so different, but it, you know, it is better having it up oh, here yeah. where you don't have to tear the shop down and uh, take a week off from take work. a week and then restart, like we used to talk about. It's, but you know, this is nice. And we're real fortunate it wasn't Saturday. It's yeah, the storm we storm. had, you know. Yeah. yeah. I know. So far, so good. Everything's going good. Uh, yeah. Like I said. <laughs> If it wasn't for the volunteers. And oh, yeah, a lot of familiar faces up there. Oh, you know, I know. Guys but, have been helping out for years. You know, and they, we look forward to having them, and they look forward to doing it. So <laughs> it works both ways. Now we're 
We appreciate it at the Dragoon families. So are you enjoying retirement? Uh, so far. Uh, getting the to-do list caught up. <laughs> Still got some more to do, but it's we're working work. on it. I gotta work on my list next. Yeah, that, the boss gave you her to-do list. Oh yeah, she's got her, her list there. That shirt looked familiar. Ice storm. Bring back some memories, Ice eh? storm, yeah. Bumbled the brand new shirt. I said, ah, sweatshirt, might as well start wearing it. Like mine. Walmart Lanes, yeah. Oh boy. It's, uh, I've been by there the last <laughs> couple days and there's not oh, much it's of a too crowd bad. there. It's too bad. No, I look no. back uh, when I started Hometown Cable, uh, started recording in 83, but I decided to make it uh, a business in 86. Right. And it was always supported by the local business people. And there ain't too many local business no, communities you know, left. It's just, uh, you know. It's a sad it's thing. It's the way everything is, you know, like on our transition, we tried to keep it as local different. As you could. We had uh, some multi store dealers wanting to come in here, you know, with seven, eight stores, and you know what that had been. Yeah. Just strictly, uh, you know, another. But hopefully, they try and keep it. You know. Yeah, you got 70 years of family effort into this. Right, you exactly. Keep that name going. Oh, and, definitely. And going know. in a positive direction. You know, I was talking about that earlier when my. Grandfather Floyd Dragoon used to make all the mix. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it brings back a lot of memories and all good, you know what I mean? So, no, glad you could show up and, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it went well. I mean, we got, it was cool in here yesterday morning. I can imagine with a lot of well, heaters going some, there. A lot of heaters everywhere. There's heaters on the outside, the other end, the heaters up heater, so pretty comfortable. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, appreciate Calvin all you do for our North Country. And all right, we so appreciate all the volunteer uh, help. You, you know all these people that's wandered through. You can just name them off so that uh, I don't even got to stick my camera in front of them and hold up the line. Well, you know my wife Linda. Yeah. Linda, and Connie uh, Menard. Connie Menard. Yeah. Dan Dumas. Yeah. Uh, all these folks. We call them Sparky Aruda, <laughs> Todd Jarvis, Mike Denall, my father. Earl Robinson and Tracy Lemire. And we still got volunteer help. Got Barb Robbins and Jim yeah, Robbins Jim, on the wheel. Way, yes, up the gym earlier. No, well, uh, like I said, a lot of volunteer help, which is very much appreciated. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a Mike Dino. What was his nickname? I can't remember what the heck he had. Mikey Dano, I don't know. You yeah. must, I'm sure you got. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Frenchman, back, yeah. Back when Frenchy? He, Frenchy? Yeah, maybe? I think it was Frenchy, yeah, yeah. Back when he used to have his Christmas decorations. Yeah, his or, wife has a lot of nicknames for him. <laughs> Most wives do. For, uh, yeah. Houses. All right. But no, I mean, uh, we just had it well, in August, you know, on our transition. Right. But yeah. No, no, it was. Uh, Good to see them uh, keep keep doing it, which they plan on keep doing it. So. Yeah. Which is very fortunate. All right. Thank you, Wayne. Yeah. Thank you, Calvin. Appreciate it. All right. Might as well give it. Okay, the line's a little slow, so we're going to start at this end. What's your name? Debbie Dragoon. And what are you doing here, Debbie? Volunteering, trying to help out. <laughs> You're the syrup lady? Show the customer appreciate syrup, table lady, whatever needs to be done. <laughs> oh, I thought you were a syrup. No way. Because you're the sweetest one here. Oh, that's special. <laughs> Thanks, Calvin. <laughs> so a little, a little slow spot right here it gives these guys a chance to catch up. Yep, it's been pretty good. Um, didn't really get going till a little bit after ten, but it's going strong now. Yeah, it sure is. And get closer to noon, it'll probably get even busier. Oh, busy yes, it will. Yes, it will. All right, nice to know you're still doing this. Uh, oh yeah. Like when we first started covering this. Uh, you guys were in uh, Canton. Yes, I, I wasn't around then, but oh, I was weren't? I was actually at Canton going to school. Okay. When Scott was in Canton, but we didn't know each other then. Okay. So without that Canton, without that Canton store, you might never have been here. Uh we met at the Walmart actually. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So well, yeah. that's why Wayne's wearing his Walmart shirt today. Oh yeah. Yeah. Reminiscence of you guys meeting. Oh, it, you that, Scott meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We all were at the Walmart one time or another back in the day. Yeah. One of those sad places that's no longer here. And, Unfortunately. Yeah. A lot of good memories. <laughs> a lot of great bands. Yes. 
Yeah. For sure. And a few strikes once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah we tried. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right. Bye. All right, we're trying to talk as fast as we can to as many people as we can. We'll even talk to you. That's how desperate we are. Well, I guess you are. <laughs> What's your name, young man? Tracy Lemire. Tracy, how long have you been volunteering at this thing? Oh, a couple years now. A couple years? Yeah, now. been helping out Jack and the boys and a uh, great family, great business here in Moores, and uh, can't ask for nicer people. So. Jack sold the I, business, I'm, you know. Realize that, he's right? all business is right. <laughs> I'm happy to help him out. What's your job? I'm mixing the pancake mix. You're the pancake mixer. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You do this at home too? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the full-time uh, pancake guy. <laughs> at home or on the road? Uh, exactly. All right. Thanks, Tracy. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. I'm gonna try to bump into Jack now. There you go. Jack's there supervising the uh, the pancake flipping, making sure that the Making sure they flip those pancakes just at the exact time. Pardon? Making sure they flip those pancakes just right. Oh yeah, he's doing a hand over good job. They all are. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jack. You, you, they took you out of retirement to come here and, and help they, out. They said I had it easy enough, long enough. They put me to work. <laughs> no problem. I enjoy it. Got a good bunch and awful good. Good for them to carry a tradition on. That's right. Now, you were, you've been involved right from day one back in 1953 as a teenager and... Yeah, 16 years old. Yeah. yeah. And now here you are and about to celebrate a birthday. This, was it this weekend? You're, you're going to be... Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. You'll be turning uh, 63? Yeah, I guess you got to go quite a few years on that. <laughs> be 87. 87. Yeah. And still flipping. So, Sausage, best looking sausage in town, man. Yeah, they are. They are good looking. Yeah, got it up. Sausage all come from the mountain mark up here. And eggs from Drew. And a cake mix. Same. Yeah. Good bunch of help. That's what carries it on. Pretty good turnout so far. So far, yeah. Bunch of stuff there. I don't want you falling on that grill. Hey? I don't want you falling on that grill. Oh. oh. You'll ruin those sausages. <laughs> well, pretty hard to ruin them, but take, these here are, they're not pre-cooked, so it takes quite a bit oh, longer. Okay. Takes for near an hour compared to oh, the wow. others that are pre-cooked. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I thought these were supposed to be, but uh -oh. they're not. Very good, though. Awful good for you to come up again. Well, the tradition, we've been doing it since 1990 with Bob Ben and I showed up here. 1990. <laughs> quite, a, quite a few pancakes been served <laughs> since then. That's right. Yeah, a lot of pancakes and a lot of syrup over the years. Oh, yeah. Quite a bit. Well, I'm going to go bump into Dano here if I can. Yeah. He's a chef of pancakes. All right. Okay, there, stop. This guy's always drinking here. Look at that. He's drinking the hard stuff, too. <laughs> the hard stuff. The good stuff. <laughs> Not the... <laughs> Not the no calorie stuff. No, no calories. <laughs> What's your that name, young man? Mike. Mike Dano. Mike Dano. Yeah, then you don't put up your Christmas decorations anymore. You no, no. I buy and look at those. My son does it now. So. Does he? Yeah. I I didn't my years, you know. <laughs> you put in your time. Oh yes. Oh yeah. All right. So you're keeping busy with the around. You know, a little bit of construction and stuff around oh, the property of your own and stuff like my, that. My son keeps me busy. Keeps you occupied. He's always find something for me to do and that, so keeps me going. I enjoy doing this, you know. Been doing it quite a few years. Yeah, yeah. So. Yes. It's good. Meet a lot of people. There, they get good working mates too, working right <laughs> next to you here. Who could ask for more, right? He's not looking too much. <laughs> He's cooking. <laughs> he's not I looking. He's, make turn, Tom. he's not looking. He's cooking. <laughs> concentrating. Concentrating. Hey, these, these look kind of raw. What are you gonna say for yourself? Not too much. <laughs> What's your name, young man? Todd Jarvis. Todd Jarvis. And Todd, uh, you've been doing this how many years? Oh, uh, probably 15, 20 years. And you can't break the habit. Is that the idea? Well, Uncle Jack calls. You gotta come cook. 
So Uncle Jack, is he your uncle? He's my wife's uncle, yeah. My wife's uncle, oh, okay. That's right, yeah. Come yeah. here. Come here. On the, on the other side, Robert's, Robert's side. side of the family, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so he, he he claims ownership here when he yeah. says you're a relative once a year, right? Yeah, once <laughs> when he calls you. He calls you and says, uh, you gotta have this, you gotta have this date off because we better, we're going to do open house. <laughs> So you cooked a lot of uh, sausage so far. Yeah, you, you're gonna be able to keep up here. Oh, the yeah. crowd's gonna start getting busy. You know, as we get closer to lunchtime. Yeah, we probably cooked 40 pounds right now. Already, yeah. Uh, we have plenty, so we won't run out. Okay, I'll move right along okay. here, Todd. Good Thank talk, you very much. Gentlemen. I'll try not to get too many ways here. This guy here is always working. Any, any double yokers so far? Not yet, Calvin. Not yet. What's your name, young man? John Aruda. You also go by another name, don't you? Yeah, Sparky. <laughs> How come? It's hard to say, Calvin. <laughs> okay. You can't say it in public, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Statute of limitations hasn't run out yet. Pretty much. Okay, is this your secret recipe for eggs here? Yeah, you know, somebody's recipe. <laughs> <laughs> you just following orders? I just following orders from the guy down on the end. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about Jack? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh oh, you got some real old timer farmers coming through now. You got the base shards there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, you busted a yoke there. It's going to come out of your paycheck. That's all right. <laughs> Thank you, Sparky. Take care. Yep. Look out, look out here. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well. How are you? Not too bad. Have you ever been a farmer? Hey? Huh? Have you ever been a farmer? Oh. 35 years on my own after I left my father's place. <laughs> I bought everything from Dairy Farm. And you had two jobs besides that? Yeah, I worked at Aries too and drove bus. Norman and Kitty Bayshard keeping busy here. In line here. Mr. Robinson skipped us there. We'll have to catch up with him. Here we go. Oh, looks like uh, these folks here are, are busy at the moment. Wayne's supervising both. I already talked to you, yeah. Just making sure everything's running smooth. Okay, just make what? sure you keep the, the gloved hand on the food. And the... <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Do my best, anyway. Are you sure it says Wayne? Is that your name? Um, For now it is, yes. <laughs> he probably doesn't want me to be, but yeah. <laughs> you took his... You took... Unless she loves me. <laughs> <laughs> you took his ice storm shirt? Yep. We did. Yep. <laughs> I remember talking to him at the fire station back I in '98. Know, right? <laughs> yeah. Those weren't the good years, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, that was a tough year. So you're enjoying yourself? Absolutely. We're you, doing well. You thought when they sold the business you'd get out of this, but you had to come back? We, yeah, we kind of got roped back into it a little bit. So yeah. But it's nice to see everybody. So yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I will. <laughs> and who are you? Cassine, how are you today? I am well. What are you doing here? How about some sausage? <laughs> I'll Isn't take some. Awesome. I'll take some to go later. All right. <laughs> Be here. So you've been helping out a few years here, Connie? Yes, yeah. I really enjoy it. How many years? Any idea? Long time. Long Not time. as long as Linda, but a long time. <laughs> <laughs> some of my most favorite people in the world are farmers, so no better place to come, right? Are you still farming? Yep. Are you? Yeah. Okay. And you grew up on a farm? And yeah, we grew up on a farm. My husband grew up on the farm. We raised our kids on the farm. Got grandkids on the farm. Can't beat it. <laughs> so the tradition continues. That's right. All right. This guy's not a farmer anymore. Well, part-time. 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 Part-time yeah. farmer. So, What's your name? Dan Dumas. I thought, they, thought you had a job today. What happened there? Yeah. Well, I took sick? a personal day to come and help out Jack. <laughs> so, no, he's... He's been, always been very good to me, and uh, my son works for him now, and so I'd like to come and help him out and return the favor a little bit. So, so you grew up on a farm? And you grew up on a dairy farm. We still have a crop farm today, small operation, round bales, but uh, keep the land up. And, That's right. Yeah. yeah. So. so I think back, you know, our property uh, on the Ridge Road is, you know, minor farm. Uh, bought some of it from my brothers, and I kept the other part, and they're renting it. But, Think of all the work in the 1800s that those sure, people went through to clear that land. Yeah, you don't want to let it go. No, and if you just 
let it go. It doesn't take long before it becomes. Absolutely. You know, so you got to keep uh, cutting those grass and mowing that hay. And... Right. All right. So how did you get busy here? No egg. No egg. No, no egg. No eggs. No eggs. I think he got afraid of the camera. He'd like to do an interview with you. Know? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Fried eggs. No eggs. Well, see, it, it must think, be you. I think you're driving away my customers, Calvin. They're getting nervous when they see the camera. All right, I'll get out of your way here so get rid of some of your eggs. Those, of course, are Jeru's poultry eggs, too. So they're, you know, they're top quality. Uh, this fellow here. This fellow here has been avoiding me here, right here. Robinson. <laughs> I'm starting to take this personal here that you're avoiding me, you know. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> What's your name, young man? Earl Robinson. <laughs> and Earl, you've been helping out with these a long time. Oh, about 10 years now. Yeah, I think that's where I first met you was probably yeah. right here. Yep. So you can't get out of the habit, right? Well, it's nice to come down and help Jack. He's always done so much for the community. It's nice to have a payback in. And, it, and you can eat, eat all you want while you're here? No. No, you can't eat? You're not no, allowed diabetic. to eat? Huh? Diabetic. Oh, you're diabetic. Oh, wow. Nothing here you can have? Sausage once Sausage. in a while. Once in a while. <laughs> All right, I'll let you deliver those pancakes. Okay. <laughs> As even though we know the people's names, we like to uh, get them to say it because every once in a while, I'll have a, another Earl in my name in my memory bank, and I'll kick out the wrong Earl or the wrong Robinson or the wrong Dano or the wrong Dumas or whatever, and uh, so I like. I learned that many years ago. It's not just a recent thing. So, uh, let the people introduce themselves and I don't end up messing it up even though I might have known their name for almost as long as I have. So once in a while I get my own name mixed up. So as you can see, uh, the annual customer appreciation day is going strong here. Folks are showing up and enjoying themselves, enjoying the camaraderie, the friendship of, of their neighbors. Some days people might be the only time they get to see some of their neighbors is, is here. No. All right, we've got the popcorn man here. Yeah, they put candy the, man, the, the popcorn the, man. The <laughs> most important job in the whole building and they put it on your shoulders. Who are you? I am Gary Dragoon. <laughs> I used to talk to a Gary Dragoon up at the Dragoon's Farm Equipment uh, once in a while. Well, this is the old Gary now. <laughs> <laughs> All retired and everything. And All retired. Every day's a Sunday. <laughs> and they brought you out of retirement to do this. Yep. Yep. Give him a hand there. Keep things going. Good turnout so far, so everything's looking good. I dug out an old video from, I think, 87 of the Swanton League oh boy. playoffs. Was, I just put it online, uh, sharing it a couple days ago. And uh, you were part of that team. That yeah. was a few years ago. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> More fun on the ride home. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> I drove down, I rode down with Frankie, and I uh, we made a, a stop on the way home. Oh, but, yeah, <laughs> yep. yep. All right, so what are you doing these days, Gary? Oh, nothing. nothing. Just uh, keeping uh, my food plots getting ready for the springtime and cutting a little wood and little odd jobs around the house. Keep busy. Waiting for uh, fishing season to start. Oh, you're a fisher? I like to fish, yep. You're not too far from the river, so... No, perfect. Perfect, yep. So you'll have a little more time on your hands this year than you've had in the past. Oh, yeah. Yeah, normally the only time we fished was for the LCI tournament, but... This year, hopefully, get out there and do a bunch of it. Your, your popcorn's popping real good. Here. Oh yeah. Well, you're good at this. Oh, I, I'm a I'm a jack of all trades. <laughs> you're a Gary of all trades. Yeah. Your father's a jack of that's all trades. That's right. That's true. Yep. Yep. Okay. Anything else? You stopped me and said you wanted to talk. Anything yeah. else you wanted to say, oh, Gary? Just glad you came again. That's for sure. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. I'm sure the people appreciate it too. Thank you, Gary. No, thank you. 
Even though I've known everybody I've talked to so far, I've asked their name. This time I know somebody I don't know. What's your name? Uh, my name is Libby Kaginair. Say that again, that last name? Kaginair. Okay. <laughs> don't ask me to spell it. That's okay. <laughs> right. And what's your function here with this outfit? So I am the marketing manager for Dragoons and um, the rest of the um, Taylor group of businesses. Okay. So who are you marketing to anyway? Well, we market to the local population. The farmers, of course, are our favorite target group. And also a lot of homeowners, too. The homeowners love the um, Cub Cadet line of mowers, zero turns. Um, and then the hobby, hobby farms, they love the uh, Kubota tractors. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of great products. And we're also redoing the showroom in the store. Have you oh, been in the store yet? Not yet, no. We're doing a refresh on the showroom, so we got a nice fresh coat of paint, some new flooring, and uh, yeah, so definitely the homeowners should stop in there for all their handheld uh, handheld uh, devices, trimmers, chainsaws, blowers, you're stuff trying, like that. You're trying to turn this into a I know, commercial can you here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so is it all ready to look at today if I stopped in there and the new look is finished or not yet? It's, it's getting there. It's transition. getting there, yes. Okay. So a nice turnout today. This is probably your first, or was you around in August when they had one? I was here last year, yep. Okay, so it's a, it's a nice new experience uh, for, for you guys, basically, even though it's your second time here, yeah. uh, second go-around. Well, this has been going on, as you know, for 70 years, so. Yeah, a long time. <laughs> the community kind of depends on this, you know. It marks the, the real beginning of spring. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. We had it in, we brought it back to March this year. Um, and it's nice to see so many people here. I mean, it's nice to see so many people here right when it opened. I mean, and what I really love is like the camaraderie of people who are seeing each other. You know, maybe they don't see each other all the time, but you can tell right. some people are, you know, catching up with their friends that they haven't seen in a long time. So we love that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a chance to not just talk to the people at Dragoons, but also talk to their neighbors. Oh, and, for sure. Yeah. And even some relatives. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, so who are these owners here? You got their names? Uh, Chris uh, Aki is around here somewhere. Okay. And then also we have a family partnership um, with the um, Giroux family. I haven't seen them here yet, but I'm sure they'll pop in. All right. Yeah. Well, they better pop in. The, the food is good. <laughs> it's delicious and Giroux's eggs. <laughs> That's right. Of course. Did oh, you eat yet? Not yet. All right. right. <laughs> yeah, you should. That's a tradition for me. Excellent. Right. And I saw, oh, um, I should introduce you to this gentleman right here. His name is Derek. Have you met him? No, the guy with the red hat? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yep. Let's see. Um, he is the uh, service manager. Oh. He works on the um, uh, the big side, the case side. So he took over for Wayne? Uh, yes, I believe so, yes. Okay. Yep. Right. He's a personable guy. I'm going to get him for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, another one that we're just meeting here for the first time. Much better than the previous service manager I've heard. What's your name? Derek uh, Haru. Haru, all right. I don't know a lot of Harus around here. Where are you from originally? Uh, Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh? Plattsburgh Harus? Yep. All right. Yep. All right. You're tall enough to play sports. Have you played any sports in any schools? No? Uh, no, no, no sports. No? Okay, still time, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting older, but I'm not there yet. All right, so you're the new uh, service manager for all the heavy equipment and yep. so on, and you took Wayne Dragoon's place. I did, yeah. He told me he was irreplaceable, but I guess he was wrong, huh? Well, no, probably not, but I'm trying. <laughs> so, did you uh, already work for this outfit before, or just for the high, your new I've, hire? I've worked for uh, Ake, the Taylor Ake's. Rental in the past, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, were you on board right from the start, when, as soon as they bought this place a year ago? Yeah, I actually worked with Wayne for a couple months anyways before. Well, you got to learn the ropes. Right. You can't just walk in and... Right. So, yeah, I spent some time with him a couple months anyways. And, uh, it's been good so far. Stayed busy all winter and hopefully we have better weather than we did last year, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of the reasons they moved this activities to this spot here was because that place had to shut down for a week in the right. past when they had to right. open house. Right. And yeah. So all that productivity. Right. And, yeah. So it's convenient that it's up here. Um, it's bigger. Obviously, you don't know if there's many people walking through the store now, but um, 
it is convenient that we don't have to shut the shop down because yeah yeah you're gonna lose some sales because right. people aren't walking by and say oh i guess right. i need one of those but then again you gotta watch out you know because we got a lot of farmers that need their equipment up and going so if we yeah, shut you down can't shut down for a week can't we can't. you gotta everybody get paid right. so you they have a hard enough time as it is without being you know shut down so yeah. the more we can do to help those guys out the better we are so yeah we don't know how soon the, yeah. the season will be to get on the fields it right. seems like it's drying out then all of a sudden <laughs> i know hopefully another couple of weeks there you know planning will be underway and uh hopefully i mean they suffered a lot last year with the wet weather and um i just hope that this year it dries out and they can get a good crop in the ground and go from there so. yeah because a lot of last year uh I know I saw a lot of cornfields that where the Flooded. crop was in the ground, and all of a sudden we got some rain, and just had these wet spots. Uh, a lot of standing water in the fields. Yeah, so yeah, it's more than just uh, uh, you, yeah. you reach that uh, point where you can plant. It doesn't I, mean that everyone everyone could use a dry drier year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the trouble is sometimes we go from wanting a drier year to a drought, so yeah. you never know what I know. what Mother Nature's going to hand you. And, that's why farming is such a tough, tough business. I, yeah. yeah, you got to feel for these guys, you know. I mean, they feed us, so we got to do everything we can to uh, help them out. Yeah. All right, anything else you'd like to tell us? I appreciate you guys stopping by and, you know, keep filming them. I know you guys have been doing it since, what, 19... The first one we did was uh, for, for Jack here at the open house was 1990. We've been recording things since 1983. But, right. Uh, first one we did was back in uh, April 10th, 1990. Yeah. So it's, That's good. Uh, I appreciate you guys, you know, keeping the tradition up and uh, hopefully we'll see you again next year. All right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Nice job. Yeah. Hey. Oh, there we go. Everywhere we look. There's Scarlet Samples. She's here meeting new people and reminiscing with old people. Even Bob Gatto all the way from Rouse's Point is enjoying a pancake. And Hector Bedard is there. He's enjoying his pancakes. Even people from Beekman Town, Sam Dyer. We are back outside. We're not sure if this will be the wrap up. If we have an opportunity to talk to one of the owners, we'll, uh, we'll do so. But uh, this could be our wrap up here in North Country. Community tradition here in Mars, Dragoons Farm Equipment, Customer Appreciation Day, open house, visitors from Vermont, Canada, uh, Franklin County, and all through Clinton County, particularly here in the northern tier. That's uh, what small time rural America is all about, and the Dragoons have been a big part of that for, for many, many years. And, it's nice to see that uh, uh, even under the new ownership, that tradition in the Dragoon name will continue. I know there are still some Dragoon family members who, who work there, and uh, you can see when you walk in and, and do business with them. So this, as I said, may be the wrap-up. If so, thanks for watching and supporting viewer-supported Hometown Cable. And... Uh, as we said, if we find someone else to chat with us, we will do that. But this it just might be the wrap-up. And yes, the local county legislator was here.